Alright, welcome back to the channel my friends, Warhammer Man Studios, I'm Warhammer Man and today we're taking a look at the Aegis Defense Line. Stands firm in our battle of barricades. So as we suspected, we picked out a couple of pictures including this one right here displaying this new Aegis Defense Line. There was some speculation that it was an elaborate conversion, uh, but uh, seemed obvious now in hindsight was obvious. Uh, that this is in fact the new Aegis defense line uh, so very cool to see that playing out and honestly I think it looks great I'm really excited about it and uh, let's take a look at what we got going on the Astro Militarum has been defending the Imperium for millennia and in the time they've developed more than a few ways for shoring up the home front fancy four fields are all well and good but for the final word in a battlefield protection you need something economical and reliable a nice solid trench system like the Aegis defense line so very very cool the old Aegis defense line was complete trash compared to this. I mean, this looks phenomenal. It is loaded with detail. It looks absolutely awesome. Oh, man, it looks even better. Wow, this is sick. Uh, the battlefield architects of the Astro Time have designed a brand new incarnation of the classic fortification, a modular model kit that's an absolute joy to deploy. So very, very cool. We see... We have a couple of damage pieces right here and then we have one larger kind of like central command station uh very cool i really like this it's sort of a combination of the old trenches and the old kind of like bunkers so it's like somewhere in between um i do like it it's much better than the old aegis defense line it's not quite as encumbering as the wall of martyrs trench system I think it would be a little easier to deploy this also uh, because obviously you can't do it within three inches of other terrain um, unless it's like inside your deployment zone but essentially you have one big piece and then i'm assuming these can kind of be like strung out however you want um, i don't think you're gonna have to deploy them in an exact fashion like this i think you basically just have to pick like an edge point and then put a piece on it however you want it to come down come back whatever and then your next piece etc so i'm guessing that for deployment this is actually, this kit right here is actually going to work out pretty well. Uh, it does look great. I am definitely a fan of it. The little walls and everything look good. I like that there's like a broken piece and everything. So you can essentially have like battle damage where there's a break in the wall. Uh, very, very cool. We're going to find out how good the powerhouse palisade really is. The only way we know how. An action-packed wall-to-wall showdown. It's a clash that will shake the foundations of any fortress world, and since we're all loyal Imperial citizens, we'll naturally be approaching this in a fair and balanced way. Aegis Defense Line vs. Tidewall Shield Line Our first matchup pits the Aegis Defense Line against the foul works of the Xenos Menace. Their Tidewall Shield Line might look flashy, but the Tau clearly have no experience building truly resilient fortifications. So this is the Tidewall Shield Line, uh, which is actually like kind of similar to the Aegis Defense Line. Uh, it does have like a cool little shield system right here has a nice little area to hang out in and then uh, it can be built in quite a few different ways so we see soft and vulnerable curved design okay we see translucent barrier easy to predict enemy movement all right that actually makes sense uh, hovering defenses easy to crawl beneath uh, interesting enough unlike the glorious barricade technology of the imperium the tidewall shield line has toughness and wounds characteristic and can thus be blown up like a very sad tank there's no such malarkey in your Astro Militarum army as this actually invincible defense line is no hovering monument of cowardice. Uh, score one for the Aegis. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Obviously, like the newer terrain features, like, you know, the webway gate, uh, you can't destroy. Obviously, this you can't destroy it as well. Uh, this is only 40 points in the book and provides some pretty awesome stuff. Next, we have the Aegis defense line versus the Mechboy workshop. Imagine creating a fortification and then forgetting to add actual cover to it. Only an orc could concoct such a risable idea. Uh, so the orc mechboy workshop. So this is more like for looks than anything. Uh, large open gaps, unsightly ramshackle construction, trip hazard, tools scattered around, decorative claw, no match for a trusty bayonet. Uh, so I think this is actually like pretty cool. Not great actual terrain piece, but like cool little flavor. I mean, I love that it's got like a little engine on an engine stand right there. While the Mechboy Workshop Scrap Barricade gives troops a place to hide from the Emperor's Justice, they lack the true defensive power of the Aegis Defense Line. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I can't remember what the actual, like, feature rules are for the Mechboy Workshop. Or the Tau Defense Line, for that. Uh, so, Reinforced Construction. Each time a ranged attack is allocated to a model, while it receives the benefit of cover from this terrain feature, worsen the armor penetration characteristic of the attack by 1 to a minimum of 0. 
Okay, so now, you know, you basically get Armor of Contempt from this piece of terrain. Uh, that is really, really good. Really good for 40 points. Purpose built cover will keep your soldiers far safer than any random assortment of tires and broken engines. Sure, crude orc junkers may find it helpful to fiddle with their ramshackle war machines, but the hammer of the emperor has no need for custom jobs. STC technology is already perfect. Another easy victory for the Imperium. So next we see the Aegis defense line versus the Hammerfall bunker. Now this is a building with some commendable Imperial technology behind it. The Space Marines definitely know how to build an impressive Hammerfall bunker, but we can't help wondering if it's a bit too extra. So we have the Astartes Hammerfall Bunker. So functional yet unnecessary armor. Uh, not a LAS gun. Uh, where's that? Oh, okay. The heavy bolters. Also not a LAS gun. Uh, so, you know, going with the comical approach, obviously. The rugged Aegis defense line can be dug out and bolted together in moments, allowing the Imperium soldiers to rapidly erect a bastion before the enemy arrive. It takes significantly longer to construct a deadly drop bunker, fire it from orbit, and then lug it back onto the ship for redeployment. So we'll respectfully hand the wind to the Astra Militarum again. Okay, that's kind of a weird one. I mean, you shoot the thing out of space, and it lands and defends. That's pretty quick setup. I'll say Aegis Defense Line versus the Webway Gate. What is this garden sculpture? Uh, so Webway Gate, decorative Xeno statue, originally included fountain and rockery. Uh, footnote, any reports of whispers from the vicinity will result in immediate disciplinary action. So they're not even trying on that one. Uh, come back when you learn how walls work, Xenos. Uh, there we have it, a clean sweep of the Aegis defense line. The Emperor himself accepts that this might just be the finest defensive fortification in the galaxy, and your ranks of Kedian shock troops will thank you, when significantly more of them than usual return to sing his praises. The Aegis Defense Line will be available for pre-order soon alongside plenty of other releases from the new Codex, Astra Militarum. And if you can't wait that long, the Cadia Stands Army Set is still available and ready to hammer the Emperor's foes. Alright, so that's interesting. I mean, they basically made a whole big article. It's just a joke. I mean, this is really all we get out of it. We get to see the full setup, which is very, very cool. And then we get to see the special rule for it, which, you know, if you already have the Codex, obviously, uh, you know. So... Very, very nice setup. Obviously, giving armor of contempt to basic guardsmen or like anybody really. Um, pretty freaking cool. I mean, something like Ogren or something like that back behind this wall now with minus one damage, minus one AP, you know, fairly durable. Or what about Bulgren? I mean, you could have a two up save already and then get, you know, basically the armor of contempt rule, minus one damage. I mean, you can build some pretty durable units in what would otherwise be a little bit of a, uh, you know, fragile army. I really do like this kit. It looks really, really cool. I'm assuming it's going to be somewhere around like 60 bucks or something like that uh, in line with the other terrain pieces. Um, this is awesome. I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I'm assuming all the individual pieces can be kind of like put together, assembled however you want. Uh, this looks like, you know, obviously this is like one piece here. And then we see roughly like one piece here, one piece here, one piece here, and then the main piece. Um, very cool. 40 points in game. I think we're going to see it a lot. Depending on how the rules change or what is allowed, we could potentially be seeing this in a bunch of Imperium armies, not just Astro Militarum. Uh, so I got to give it two thumbs up. This is great. I'm definitely going to be picking this up. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It's going to be super cool for like kill team boards, theme boards, display boards, actual gameplay. Uh, yeah, I am definitely a fan. This is awesome. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think are you as excited for this as i am it was pretty obvious when i made the video before that this was going to be the defense line it was funny though all kinds of people come up with all kinds of excuses how it was a conversion from this or it was something else da, da, da. Um, very obvious now that this was in fact the aegis defense line and i gotta say it is a massive massive upgrade from the last one so congratulations games workshop you absolutely nailed it knocked it out of the park and you're going to definitely be selling at least one of these because I will be picking this up for sure. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Let me know if you're as excited as I am. Uh, what do you think of the overall layout and like the ability to function in game terms? I know a lot of the argument with the fortifications is basically that they're difficult to deploy and in player place terrain, your opponent can negate it and whatnot. But obviously there are some exceptions to the rule for deploying inside your deployment zone. So if you're trying to kind of like hold the line and kind of fortify a little bit, uh, this is literally perfect for it. So uh, definitely liking it. Let me know what you guys think. Always appreciate the feedback.
Uh, so thank you all for tuning in today. If you have not already liked and subscribed, make sure you do that before the video ends and uh, you're running out of time. So that's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man and I am definitely getting this and I'm out of here.